Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. In six years of Obama, terror rate tripled. By Kay Campbell. Former President Barack Obama loved to tout his counterterrorism successes, but a new report on global terrorism recently showed that the situation was actually made worse under his leadership. A lot worse. In its annual Global Peace Index for 2017, the Institute for Economics and Peace considered the state of peace in 163 countries, and the results were shocking and dismal. Since 2011, or over only six years, terrorism around the world has nearly tripled, resulting in a current all-time high for terrorism and a costly bill for those fighting it, the report found, according to The Voice of America. The report determined that world peace has been declining for the past decade, citing terrorism and conflicts in the Middle East and Northern Africa as the primary driving factors. In fact, terrorism-related deaths had risen more than 900 percent since 2007 in the 35 countries that participate in the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, a forum for governments to work together to solve common problems, including safety from terrorism. Twenty-three of the organization's member countries had experienced deaths due to terrorism over the past year, including Denmark, Sweden, France, and Turkey. Across the globe, Deaths from terrorism increased by 80 percent from last year, and the intensity of terrorism also increased. For example, in 2016, 11 countries lost more than 500 people to terrorist attacks, as compared to 2015 when only five nations experienced that kind of death toll. In the Middle East, where the majority of terrorist activity was concentrated, battle deaths from conflict were at a 25-year high while the number of refugees and displaced people reached a level not seen in 60 years. To make matters worse, the rise in violence, terrorism-related and otherwise, hasn't just been dangerous, but it has also been expensive, as it cost the global economy $14.3 trillion last year, with a $2.5 trillion impact on the United States alone. While Obama isn't entirely to blame for this horrifying rise in terrorism, his liberal foreign policies certainly did not improve the situation, and in many ways, opened the door for several terrorist groups to find their footing. For example, Obama's policies encouraged groups such as the Muslim Brotherhood to take power in several critical Middle Eastern countries, claiming the group had renounced violence, even though we all know that simply was not true. Not to mention the epic failure officially known as Libya, a place where Obama also touted success. One look at the situation today, however, tells an entirely different story of a place where democracy has failed to take place and extreme violence has become the norm. In Afghanistan, the Taliban gained ground under Obama, as the U.S. Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction reported in mid-2016 that the NATO-backed Afghan government was only in control of 65.6 percent of districts in the country a drop from the 70.5 percent it held in January 2016, according to The Guardian. Furthermore, Obama's decision to withdraw troops from Iraq allowed the Islamic State group to rise to prominence, and his terrible underestimation of the critical problem in Syria contributed to the serious destabilization in the Middle East, an outcome that has clearly had a ripple effect across Europe and into the United States. Fortunately. President Donald Trump has expressed a commitment to undoing, as much as possible, the ill-advised decisions made by the Obama administration and has taken strides to clean up the mess his predecessor left behind. Obama's out of office, but there's a lot of work to do. Like and share this article on Facebook and Twitter if you're sickened at how terrorism rose to prominence during Obama's presidency. What do you think about this new global terrorism report? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.